Hi, my name is Linda Parks, and I'm going to be showing you my learning center. So I work at a Montessori school, so our room is divided into two sides. Um, we have a Montessori side, and then we have our imagination play side, well, practical life. So I set my community helper project up is a little different than everyone else's. Um, I'll start off by showing you my Montessori side first, and then our imagination play slash practical life side. So here's where we do our circle time. We have our bulletin board up here. And this is where I have put, um, we have sign language that I teach to all the kids because we do have some kids here who unfortunately have disabilities and can't speak. So the whole class learns sign with whatever project that we do. Um, I have my community helper sign. And then we have some artwork from the kids that we did. The point of that is to show the different community helpers and then the kids love seeing their own artwork. It builds confidence and helps them throughout every lesson plan that I do. So to push the community helper theme, I have gone to our books and I have up top here all of our community helper books. And we have the station of, you know, small town heroes, what can I be? And then below we have more books that are basically themed off of that. And then we have our animal books for our force part of things. With my Montessori side, I took the whole top row and I made it all about our community helpers. So we have matched the community helper to the building. We have plant or animals and plants to go with our forest part of things, and more animals. And we have again, more planting a tree, carrots, and then again, our forest and another animal just to give our uh, forest, our wildlife, mother who, is becoming, who will be coming in on my third week, some love. So I did a lot of things to match her. Um, our sensory bin is we do. I base that off of all of our community helpers. So we have two big ones, which is based off of our forest department as well. And there's this one. They can explore insects and rocks and the wood and look and see like different things they'd find in creeks in the forest and whatnot. <clears throat> We also have our plant side of things where again there's more artwork. This encourages planting, growing trees, and then we have our flower bin where they dig through and find the different bugs and flowers. And we have these little flower pots to encourage that and that's to get practice for our main project at the end where we will plant with our forest service mom. Over here we have our puzzles and stem boxes with our sensory. Um, I put a little fire hat to give it some little theme, but our sandboxes are made for each community helper. So I have fire trucks, police department, I have construction. And then when you move to the puzzles, again, this side here focuses on the animals in the forest. And then this side here focuses on different community helpers. So we have a bunch of different puzzles that kids can choose from. And then we have our planting thing. We also have our stem boxes that I created. Um, these three boxes are community helper boxes. So they're little people dressed up as different community helpers that the kids can take out and imagination play with. We also have our forest animals in there and then a couple other sensory things that will help our kids, you know, learn more about their community helpers. Now, when they're completed with this side, they're allowed to go over here to our practical slash imagination side. And that's where you will find our rug. We usually have a lot more toys out, but I put half of them away. But this is our little roadmap of our community and they get to be whatever community helper they want. They also get to dress up, which I put a lot of that stuff away as well. But over here, they get to dress up and pretend and do whatever they want. As teachers, we sit and we, they want me to be a construction worker, I'm a construction worker for the day. But yeah, this is my learning center. We have quite a bit of different activities for the kids to participate in and I think this is the best project I've ever done in the classroom. The kids were really hands-on so far with it. Thank you.